Last Friday, October the 25th, with the approval of Secretary Esper and Chairman Milley, we then extensively briefed the President on all aspects of the plan and the risks involved in its execution. Next slide, please. The general outline of the mission was a helicopter assault by Special Operations Forces that were pre-staged in Syria, launched against an isolated compound in northwest Syria where Baghdadi was suspected to be hiding. Following the, the assault, which was designed to capture or kill, the team returned to its staging base. While that concept sounds simple enough, I can assure you that the plan was significantly more complex than that and designed to avoid detection by ISIS and others prior to or during execution to avoid civilian casualties, and with enough air cover, including armed helicopters, multiple unmanned strike aircraft, and fourth and fifth generation fighters to support and defend the assaulting forces. I will also note that the plan accounted for the assumption that we would find multiple children at the objective. As you will see, we took steps to minimize innocent casualties. With the approval of the President, and with prior contact to Russia and Turkey for the purpose of deconfliction in order to reduce the risk to U.S. forces and prevent any state actors in Syria from miscalculating and interfering with our forces, I ordered the mission to commence from my headquarters in Tampa at around 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday the 26th. Throughout the day, I was in contact with the President and his national security team as they monitored from the White House. Let me have the next slide, please. Here we see the object of the assault, the compound where Baghdadi was hiding. As I noted earlier, this isolated compound was in Idlib province in northwest Syria, approximately four miles from the Turkish border. It's an area that we have not traditionally operated in, and roughly a one-hour helicopter flight from our staging base in Syria. We assessed that he was hiding in Idlib province to avoid the intense pressure that had been put on ISIS and other places in Syria. Once the assault force arrived at the compound, fighters from two locations in the vicinity of the compound began firing on U.S. aircraft participating in the assault. These individuals, who we don't assess were affiliated with Baghdadi, but nonetheless demonstrated hostile intent against U.S. forces, were killed by two airstrikes from supporting helicopters.